Hello everybody, welcome to 2018. Welcome to the first Azure vlog of 2018. I hope you had a great holiday, had a great Christmas and also had a great New Year's Eve. 2018 will be a great year. Um, I can tell you this is the first episode of Azure vlog, but many of them will follow. But let's talk about the important things first. What's happening today? Because Microsoft is rebooting Azure to patch all the nodes that are in the Azure network against the Intel Meltdown bug. The Intel Meltdown bug is basically a bug that's in all the Intel CPUs that allows hackers to, to gather passwords, photos, everything that's currently processed by the processor. So it's good that Microsoft is patching those hosts. So and when talking about rebooting Azure and patching the Azure nodes, let's also talk about planned maintenance. Because this is not the first time that Microsoft is rebooting Azure. Uh, they are going to do it more often, uh, I expect once a year. And uh, they have a feature that's called planned maintenance um, that will help you with that. And when Microsoft patches Azure, there are actually two ways on how they do that. One that's by uh, the, the one that's called the, the VM preserving uh, maintenance. And that's where they pause your VM, apply the patches and later resume your VM. Um, by doing that, your memory is still there. Uh, there is only yeah, a freeze for, well, let's say 30 seconds. And they have the reboot maintenance. And that's where your VM that's running on the Azure host needs to be rebooted. Microsoft tends to use the preserve VM maintenance more than the reboot maintenance. And I saw uh, some sessions from Mike Rosinovic on Ignite where they freeze a VM for, well, less than a second, um, patch uh, the host and resume the VM. Since the reboot maintenance is still required, Microsoft created a feature in Azure that's called planned maintenance. With planned maintenance, Microsoft uh, notifies you 30 days before a reboot happens and also allows you to control this reboot. Let's talk about the notification. Microsoft wanted to have a solution that notifies the users better and earlier than before. So you get a notification one month before uh, the reboot is happening. And that's not one email that ends up in your spam box. It's actually a notification that gets delivered to more channels, uh, SMS, email, webhooks, um, and you are also able to uh, send it to multiple users. So not only the subscription administrator will receive that message, um, you can uh, set up multiple recipients that will also receive uh, that message, the notification that the reboot will happen within 30 days. And then Microsoft allows you to have more control over those reboots. Um, from the moment you receive a notification that the reboot needs to happen within 30 days, you are able to reboot your VM during that period by yourself, in your own maintenance window, in your own time schedule. And how that's basically working, because I can imagine that you're now thinking, well, I can reboot the Azure host node. No, you're not going to reboot the Azure host node. What you're actually going to do is reboot your VM and let Azure redeploy it on another host. So your temp uh, da data will get lost, your, your D drive, if you have a Windows machine on Azure. Um, but you're able to control the reboot by yourself. So it's not happening uh, in the middle of a working day uh, where all your users are getting impacted. And now I will show you where you can see the scheduled maintenance in the Azure portal. But first, let's grab a cup of coffee and enjoy. I love a good cup of coffee. I really like it, but let's have a look in the Azure portal right now. When you go to more services, and you type in service health, 
You get a service in which you can see the plant maintenance. Well, currently there are no issues in Azure, well that's great. And when you go to plant maintenance, uh, you see over here there is accelerated maintenance to address CPU vulnerability. This is the maintenance that Microsoft did or is currently doing for the Intel Meltdown bug. They are patching the OS of the hosts in Azure um, to address this vulnerability. And I can look over here to the affected resources and I see that the, uh, the PWA VM Web 01 is affected and it has already updated. And that's actually true. Uh, a couple of days ago I got messages from Application Inside, which is monitoring uh, the website that's running on this VM, that my website wasn't available for two or three minutes. In that time they rebooted um, the host that is running uh, this VM and uh, updated it. Uh, of course, you can also see over here uh, the issues uh, for which this update uh, has been applied. So here it is, plant maintenance. It's a great feature, it allows you to have self-control uh, when a reboot uh, takes place. And of course, um, it will notify you when, when something happened in Azure, when Microsoft is rebooting Azure. And normally, normally when an update uh, has not taken place yet, Microsoft only has notified you that they are going to reboot the host on which your VM is running. You are able to reboot your VM in this page by yourself. And one other thing that's quite important to mention over here, when you want to have as less downtime as possible, always deploy your VMs in availability sets. Have multiple VMs running in there. By doing that you have multiple update domains for all the machines that are in the availability set. And Microsoft first updates uh, all the VMs that are in update domain 1. Later they update all the VMs that are in update domain 2 and so on and so on. And when you have a single VM, you get the best SLA when you apply premium storage to this VM. Uh, premium managed disks. Uh, with that you have an, uh, an uptime uh, guarantee of 99.95%. Um, if you use standard storage, there is no SLA applied to your VM. So, um, always deploy your VMs if it are multiple VMs in an availability set or if it's a very important VM and it's just a single VM, um, apply premium storage to them, a premium managed disk. And with that I would like to close this first Azure vlog of 2018. Many of them will follow. Every two weeks I will create a new Azure vlog. Um, if you like this one, please hit the thumbs up button. Also subscribe to this channel, if you subscribe to this channel you will get a notification when I upload a new video. And um, yeah, see you in the next one, bye bye!